What is up, Fanshawe? It's Amy with Interrobang, and here's this week's news recap. Dan Brodvik, Fanshawe's Music Industry Arts Program Coordinator, has received a Grammy nomination for his work on the Cranberries' final album, In the End. The album has also been nominated for Best Rock Album, but it's a bittersweet experience for Brodvik, as the posthumous collection of songs was released following the death of frontwoman Dolores O'Riordan in 2018. Brodbeck was initially referred to Ryden due to his knowledge in current music technology and brought on to assist in programming electronic instrumentation. On November 22nd, the Ontario Divisional Court unanimously put an end to Ford's Government Student Choice Initiative. The province first introduced the Student Choice Initiative in January as part of a new funding framework for college and university students. The Student Choice Initiative allowed students to opt out of paying for non-essential ancillary fees such as club, clubs, campus media, and cultural groups belonging to student unions. In May, the Canadian Federation of Students and York Federation of Students of York University jointly filed a lawsuit on the basis that the government lacked the authority to implement such a policy and act with improper purpose without consulting student groups. The Student Choice Initiative came into effect of the 2019 fall term, leaving main camp campuses with inadequate funding to operate numerous student services. At Lotsa Family Healing Services is bridging gaps found in London's homelessness crisis. The space, offering 10 beds, began as an overnight resting space on April 1st after the Mission Services of London cut their crash bed program. The resting space bed are for people experiencing homelessness and or unable to access other shelters because of limitations and behavioural issues relating to either mental health, substance use, or aggressive and violent behaviour from a combination of the two. On November 18th, Fanshawe welcomed Anthony Porowski from Netflix's Queer Eye with a sold-out show. The event was previously scheduled for Forwa Hall, but was moved to J-Gym 3 to accommodate a larger crowd. About 20 months prior to the show, the line stretched from the gym all the way through to Oasis. Following a meet-and-greet, Porowski sat down for a discussion portion of the show and then proceeded to do a cooking demonstration. Fanshawe Falcons badminton star Han Pham is setting her sights on nationals. Originally from Vietnam, Pham came to London in 2019 18 to study culinary management. Last year, she won the Canadian Collegiate Athletic Association bronze medal for women's doubles. Fanshawe Athletic announced on November 19th that the Falcons are in the top 13th badminton team in the CCAA rankings. Sports Information Officer Nicole Carrier also told Interrobang that out of all the Ontario Collegiate Athletic Association teams, Fanshawe is the top fifth. And that's your weekly news recap. Make sure to check out our holiday edition of Interrobang on Stands Now. Also, check out our social media for up-to-date content on all things Fanshawe. And from all of us at Interrobang, happy holidays and the best of luck with the rest of the term. See you in the new year.